to what I have done so far. Extended the uh, chicken coop, the roof, higher fence, a little more of a stable area around, stairs, bringing it down in this direction and this direction, down to this farmland, around this one, a little bit around this house. We're going to keep the natural hillside, of course. Get rid of that. Looks kind of odd. But yeah, keep as much of the natural hillsides as we can. But yeah, so far that's the corner. That's this corner. Let's, uh, let's take an aerial of the whole place. We'll get a little bit of a comparison. Yeah, as nice as it is to have the hollow tree and the treats that come with it, I think that tree is going to come down and we're going to plant some other smaller Yeah, looks good Alright where are those uh, traders? Is this them over here? Yep, sure is. Wow, they've got quite the large tree there. Oh, and a cow right in the middle of camp. I wonder if she can fit out the fences. No, I think she might be stuck. Yeah, and I don't know if I can help her because usually you can't touch claimed area, and that area is claimed by the traders seeds seed vessel okay this is interesting kind of an oddball thing to see here cracked granite There. That feels a bit more stable. Let's go check this out. Very interesting. I, I think um, you're not seeing it move because I have speed turned off. So I think things that would normally be moving are not. 
There's more resin. Yeah, this is definitely a cool way to see the world. Because, you know, ordinarily you don't you don't get to see much from ground level. The only way you can see something like this is to fly or view it uh, through dr drone footage. She got two babies there? Yep, she got two babies. And then of course when I'm doing this, I'm always keeping an eye out for more villages, more traders, ruins, and of course caves that I can avoid. I like these. Wow. Wow. That's quite the find. I think we should go ahead and mark that on our map. To the village. Yeah, I definitely like the colors. Fall is a very pretty season. I didn't realize we wandered this far. Oh boy, look at that. Okay, we're definitely coming back here. Do a cave entrance, and then we do ruins. Okay, now where is the village? I also like this season and flying like this because you can definitely see more of what would normally be under some of those huge bushy trees and bushes and things. You can see some of the world. All right, let's go and continue what we are doing here. Wow. Gonna definitely have to come back and dig up some copper.
Oh yeah, that's right. There's a big hole down here. <gasps> oh no! Are you stuck? I'm gonna fix that right now. No one will ever get stuck down here again. Come on, little guy. Take out a piece. I did. It's alright. We will go and find it and fix it. Slanted. Gerber. Brown. Okay. Got it. Fixed. Okay. Why are the doors open? I've noticed a few of them have left their doors open. Okay, let's see, how crazy do we want this to be? This, this is quite the step. I would like to be able to fix up these villages having um, created all the resources, but beings that I am one person doing this and not a whole crew of players. It would take a long time to create all of the um, necessary resources. And it would take... Close the gate. Close the gate. It would take unreasonably long. And I think it might not be quite as enjoyable if I have to wait for long periods of time to see the results. So that is why we dig into the creative mode that is available in this game. And I just play like it's the, uh, the villagers had the resources to do this so and I don't use anything that there isn't already present in the village because you figure if the villagers built this then they had the resources somewhere so quite possibly there's more they know where to get it so that's my reasoning Okay, I think, yeah, you guys kind of got chipped in the yard thing here. Let's, we should give you guys trees. But do we want to build up 
the walkway give you yard what do we want to do I think We are going to give you yard that is supported by these mud bricks. Okay. I know there's not much grass out here. But we're going to give you some grass. Dude, you're like in the way. Okay, if you could move, I could finish your yard. Thank you. All right. Now, do we want to? Yes, let's build up. Oops. Hmm. Need to figure out a steer. Okay. Let's see. I've encountered this design before. And just to make it fit. I've swapped out the slabs on the lower level for full bricks. There's no gap.
There, you have a little bit of a yard, workspace, and stairs to get down. Okay. Happy with that. Let's see what's going on up here. I will plant a bunch of trees. To make up for all these bushes I am taking away. Let's see, which house is this? Where is this sidewalk going? Nowhere. Okay. It does go somewhere, but seems like they have a very long private sidewalk. Okay, walkway. I don't know that I would call these roads. Did they call them roads back before they had vehicles to drive on them? Or were they called paths? Sidewalks? Don't know. Okay, I think we may have gone a little further than we needed to on that one. That's okay, we can fill it in. to do here. Do we want to fill that in part way? And take some of this down or no? Does this need to come down? I don't think so. I think this is good over here. I think that's good. All right. We need a path this way. Ooh. Hmm. Do we want to take some of this down? Do you suppose anybody will take this way to get to a door or no? Let's do this. We'll step it down. There we go. A little bit of a hill. Nope, not that. This. There we go. Okay. What's next? Oh my. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to that area yet. We'll wait on that. Let's finish up this area first. Uh, let's dig out our hay cart. And it appears as though we have a path. Be 
because it got here somehow. Okay, where does this road go? 